everybody, welcome back to Cascadia Dispatch, prepping for non-preppers, I'm Casey, and on today's episode, we are gonna be reviewing one of the more unique emergency kits that I have seen come on the market. So as many of you know, and as many of you who have watched my previous videos, feel free to binge watch at will. I am not usually the biggest fan of pre-made emergency kits. I think that they're great if you're just starting out, you don't really know what you want, or if you just need to check a bunch of boxes, but as far as you know, actually getting real emergency preparedness planning and stuff, oftentimes they aren't as complete as they say they are, they are missing key features, and you end up actually then wanting to upgrade down the road. I was approached by a company that makes this kind of unique emergency kit called the First Minute Vest. And it's an emergency kit that is actually stored in a vest as opposed to in a bag or a backpack like lots of other pre-made emergency kits. This is the first time that a company has actually reached out and offered to send me their product. Usually I actually go out and buy the products that I review and use them and then tell you guys about it. This is the first time that a company has offered to send me their product to review. So I have one of them. They've actually sent me a couple that I could use for giveaways down the road. So stay tuned, I'm sure there will be some fun options over the next few weeks or months where we will give them away. I also have a uh, coupon code that I'm gonna include in the description. If this is something you'd like to purchase after I go through the review, I am going to be incredibly and completely honest about what I think about it, but uh, let's get into it. The first minute vest comes in this kind of cool looking black box. Obviously it's a cardboard box, doesn't actually have any functional, some functional value, but comes in this black box and when you open it up, it is all kind of disassembled and packaged like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and take everything out, but it does come disassembled to start with. It's not all packed together and put in the vest. You actually do that yourself. So inside the box lid are instructions on actually how to assemble the kit, which pockets, take each of the individual items and how they're supposed to get organized when you actually put the vest on. One of the things that I was actually surprised about is usually when I'm doing a review or looking at a pre-built emergency kit, there's all kinds of things that are missing and they don't really call them out. So you actually have to know what it's missing to include. This actually has a bunch of, of instructions and suggestions of things to add to the emergency kit. So I actually like that they kind of upfront acknowledge this is not a complete survival kit, but it's a good first step. So I really like that part of the instructions. The first element of this kit obviously is going to be the vest because the vest is the thing that everything's gonna go in. It's the whole point of the emergency kit is that it all centers around this vest. This vest actually, I was expecting it to be a lot cheaper material and a lot flimsier than it actually is. This is actually a really kind of, it feels really solid. It's not super thermal. It's not like going out and get a Columbia vest or an REI vest or something like that. It also doesn't feel like the kind of poncho material or the Mylar blanket material that a lot of emergency kits or pre-built kits come with. This actually feels like it could, you know, hold out some water and keep you reasonably warm. It has reflective, patches on the front and on the back. So uh, depending on which sort of an emergency situation you're in, you can either keep these on or you can actually take them off. They're Velcro pouches, patches, so you can take them off, put them in the pocket, you can leave them at home if you want to, but I thought that was a really nice feature. It allows you to customize it a little bit. On the front of the vest is this ID uh, card pouch, which we're gonna get into in a minute of what actually is supposed to go in here, which is actually kind of a cool little little add-on that I've not really seen before. And then there are these pockets all throughout. And then each of these pockets corresponds to a different item that comes in the kit. One of the things that I really like about this is the, the vest actually has a lot of extra space in the pockets. So you do have some room to add things into the kits and the various little pouches. You're not necessarily constrained by everything fitting exactly super tight. So you can't really add anything. A bonus that I was not expecting when I heard vest is it actually comes with a hood. So for those of us in rainier climates like Oregon where it rains a lot, having a hood is just a wonderful bonus that keeps you dry and means you don't necessarily need to have an umbrella or something like that. You might still want like a poncho and this kit comes with a poncho, spoiler alert, it comes with a poncho, but having the hood included is just gonna save you one more step and save you one more item. So I really was kind of impressed to see that uh, instead of just like a safety vest with pockets on it. Another thing that the vest includes is 
this poncho, which it's made out of the Mylar blanket material. So if you've seen any of the pre-made emergency kits or just gone down the camping aisle at the grocery store or anything, the kind of Mylar fabric that they have for emergency blankets, the vest is actually super size-wise wonderful. Um, it fits on me great and I am not a small person and there is actually room to expand it. Um, it's on kind of the smaller sizing. There's some straps on the side that you can adjust. So it's not, you know, it's not even in the middle for me to fit it on. So there's lots of, of flexibility, but having the poncho is great. It will keep you dry and it will add uh, an extra layer of warmth that the vest itself, because it doesn't have sleeves, is not gonna be able to provide. So this is a great addition as well. The vest comes with this plastic whistle. Uh, plastic whistle, metal whistle, having a whistle is great. I usually have metal whistles in a lot of my kits, but I also have some plastic ones. This is a plastic one, it's black, it's got a lanyard, so you actually can tie this onto the vest, and then you don't have to worry about holding onto it or taking up space. It's just always there when you need it. I like that they thought about the placement. I like that they included this. I like that it's black, so it kind of blends in with the whole urban camouflage gray man kind of aesthetic that they're going with. So this is a great little addition to the kit. So remember I said uh, a couple of seconds ago that there is this interesting ID type pouch at the front of the vest. So this you could use for ID or your own ID, but the kit actually comes with this cool little USB ID card. And what you can do is on one side, there is an opportunity to write your information. So you can write down your blood type and your name and anything, or there's some people that don't wanna have that information. If that's the case, then you would write nothing there. But for some people, this would be a, a helpful organizational piece. So you can write that stuff down. You can also, there's this little flip out piece right here that's a little USB stick. And so you can put photos, documents, anything like that on this and it's all in this one card. I really like having USB sticks for keeping scanned documents and family photos and that sort of thing with our go kits and evacuation kits and go bags. So if we ever did need to leave in an emergency, all of that stuff is on a little thumb drive and we can just go and we don't have to worry about it. Uh, if you don't have that already, this is a great option and it kind of includes it with some other uh, benefit with the ID card. I don't know if you necessarily need the ID card, you can just go with a thumb drive, but the fact that it's included is a really thoughtful addition to the kit. Next up, the kit comes with this water straw filter. It's kind of like a life straw. I haven't opened it, it's, still, it's all sealed, so I haven't opened it, but based on the descriptions and the instructions and just feeling the package, this to me strikes me as like a really big life straw. It seems like it's a little bit longer. It's definitely longer than like a Sawyer mini filter, but it's great because you can actually just use this filter like a life straw in a lake or a river or something like that. You don't necessarily need to have bottles of water with you. The idea of this kit is kind of urban, I believe. It's kind of urban, go, get to wherever you're going sort of an idea. So having this and not having to have tons of water weighing you down is going to be a bonus. To me personally, I would still want some water with me. So I might pair this vest with a backpack and have some water bottles and some food in the backpack and then have this as maybe my primary, you know, initial water drinking getting device where as I'm going along, I would maybe use this. And then if I can't find water, I would use the bottles. But this is a great addition to the kit and a wonderful add on to kind of use, add the water capability to the kit. Speaking of water and anybody who watches the Urban Preppers channel, they also included a four-way Silcock key. And this is something that I had never heard about until the Urban Prepper did a bunch of videos about them. And now I have them in every one of my kits. And so seeing it included in this kit was really, really cool. Um, these little keys, these little four-way little hex key things, are used in urban environments to actually open the water valves on like the side of buildings. So when you go to the grocery store and you see the faucet and there's no handle, there's a little square piece at the top, this is what you would put on that square piece and then turn to turn the water on. So this kind of goes with the water filter for another way of obtaining water as you are trying to evacuate or leave and is a great addition. It's a really small item. It's not super heavy. It doesn't take up a lot of space, but in an urban situation, this can give you a lot, a lot, a lot of water. So that's fantastic. 
Next, the kit comes with one of these all-in-one radio flashlight combos. This one actually feels a little sturdier than most of the other ones I've seen in pre-built kits. It's a little different, it's camo, it's not bright red, and a lot of the ones that come in those kits are bright red. So this continues with kind of the urban camo gray man theme. It does have a USB charging port in the back, so you can use it to charge your phone if you want to. It's got a solar panel on the top and a crank handle for powering the unit and for charging it, you could obviously connect this to your phone and then power it while you're charging it. Solar cell at the top is not a huge one, so I wouldn't plan on that as being your primary recharge method. It's probably gonna be the crank anyway, but it's an interesting feature and just, you know, a bonus to have it. Additionally, it has AM, FM, and weather band preset channels on the front of this, so it's really easy to get in and, and find those stations and, and look at all the different bands. Other radios that are like this, but maybe a little bit cheaper or not as nice, include only one of those tuning bands and then maybe the weather bands as a separate thing. The fact that that's all together is really, really nice. And it does include an LED flashlight. So it is a really good kind of all-in-one unit. As you grow your kit, you may want to break this out and kind of improve upon it, but having it all in one in a pocket is really, really beneficial, and this is a good quality uh, item to include. The kit actually comes with three different emergency medical items, two first aid kits and this emergency trauma dressing. This trauma dressing I actually have in most of our bigger kits, smaller kits, medical kits. I think the only thing that I don't have this in is my EDC for my uh, laptop bag, just cause it's a little too big to fit in there. But seeing this as an item is really wonderful. I would say there isn't necessarily a trauma kit in all of this, but there are a lot of those sorts of items. And so seeing this in here means you wouldn't have to add a whole lot more to actually get kind of the trauma capability in these first aid kits and then in the vest. So this is a great addition. Next, we're gonna look in this bigger first aid kit. Inside this first aid kit, there are some really useful items. There's a lot of kind of band-aids, uh, prep pads and towelettes. There's a triangular bandage. There's some gauze. There's gauze strips here. There's a CPR uh, shield, which is really helpful if you actually need to perform CPR on someone and you maybe don't know who they are or you know don't wanna necessarily expose yourself to a pathogen or a contagion. This is a good option to have. There's some shears, which is a, a really good bonus. Another whistle. I don't necessarily know why there's a second whistle, but hey, two whistles is better than one whistle, I guess. In the smaller first aid kit, there is a lot of more gauze and pressure dressing type things, rolls of gauze. Uh, there's another triangular bandage. There's some tape. There's a, a mylar blanket. So kind of together with all of this stuff, you end up with um, a pretty good amount of gauze and band-aid related first aid items. There isn't any like medication uh, or anything like that. So that's something you might wanna add in. And there is plenty of room in this pouch and in this pouch to add some of the little pill packet type medications in to have with you whenever you want. So overall, I was pleasantly surprised by the first minute emergency vest. I was not expecting the quality of the items to be where they were. They definitely were not necessarily the level that I would buy individually now that I kind of buy things independently. But as a starting point of someone who doesn't necessarily have any of these items, it's actually a really good product and it looks like it is higher quality than a lot of the other pre-built emergency kits that I have seen. I really like the unique form factor of the vest as opposed to just a bag. I like the fact that the vest allows you to kind of offload some of the gear from a bag into the vest. So you have things where you would need them when you would want them. And then you could pair it with a bag to actually have all of the additional things like food and water and clothes and some of that sort of stuff that you might want in more of a bug out bag or a get home bag sort of scenario. Overall, the price is not super high, but it's probably comparatively to some of the other pre-built emergency kits that I have seen, including some that I've seen at Costco. It's a little on the higher side for kind of the level that I would put it at. It is not, the first minute emergency vest retails on Amazon for $150. They're doing a launch special and have provided a coupon code, which is available down below for a significant discount off of that price. For $150, I feel like this is a little bit high for 
what is included in the, the emergency kit. It's definitely a higher quality emergency kit at the tier that I think that it fits. I think we all know there's kind of your basic emergency kits that are kind of like the wise ones that you would get at the grocery store. Then there's kind of the more middle of the road pre-built ones, ones that I found at Costco and things that have some higher quality items included. And then you get into more of the premium emergency kits where it's all brand named items and it's all super organized and it, it comes in really high quality items, but it maybe is between $300 and $1,000 for each of those. So for $150, I think it's probably a little bit higher than what I would like, but with the discount code, I think it's starting to get into the range of where it might be interesting. If you were looking for a starting point and you wanted something that was a little more unique, you will still need to probably have a backpack with food and some water bottles. Um, they did mention that it doesn't have medication, which I like that they've called that out. You will wanna add some of that in to the first aid kits just to kind of round out your first aid kits. But overall, I was pleasantly surprised by this pre-built kit. So that's gonna do it for this episode, for this video, for this review. Um, let me know what you think about an emergency style vest. I was kind of surprised by the idea and really intrigued and I was really excited that the company offered to send one out for me to review. And then they also sent a couple out that we can give as giveaways to our subscribers. So I'm coming up with some ideas. If there's something you think would be a fun way to do a giveaway for a couple of these vests, um, let me know in the comments down below. If you have ideas or comments or thoughts about this kind of emergency vest style emergency kit. Also leave those in the comments down below. And I think we've done really well with some of these emergency kit reviews. I think people are interested in what's actually in the kits that they see on the shelves or see advertised. So if there are kits that you think would be interesting to review, go ahead and also leave those in the comments down below and we will add those to the list of potential review videos down the road. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.